Rifleman Banbagtaguron was born in September 1921 in Falpu, Nepal and joined the 3rd Battalion, 2nd King Edward 7th Own Gurkha Rifles, 3-2-GR, in 1940. He served in the 1st Chindit Operation in 1943, and by 1945, his battalion had advanced against the Japanese forces down the Arakan coast in several assault landings. In February 1945, the battalion reached the village of Tamandu. The path ahead was dominated by a hill known as Snowden and 3-2-GR were assigned to capture it in order to allow units of the 82nd West African Division to safely evacuate their casualties. Though Snowden was initially taken without opposition, the Japanese forces attempted to retake a nearby hill called Snowden East on the night of March 4. B Company of 3-2-GR were tasked with retaking Snowden East and during the attack, despite heavy enemy fire, Van Bacta participated in actions that earned him the Victoria Cross. His bravery set an example for his fellow soldiers, allowing them to finally clear the Japanese from Snowden, despite the company suffering over 50% casualties. Van Bacta's citation reads as follows, quote, In Burma, on 5 March 1945, a company of the 2nd Gurkha Rifles attacked an enemy position known as Snowden East. On approaching the objective one of the sections was forced to ground by very heavy light machine gun, grenade, and mortar fire, and owing to the severity of this fire was unable to move in any direction. While thus pinned, the section came under accurate fire from a tree sniper some 75 yards to the south. As this sniper was inflicting casualties on the section, rifleman Banbagtagurung, being unable to fire from the lying position, stood up fully exposed to the heavy fire and calmly killed the enemy sniper with his rifle, thus saving his section from suffering further casualties. The section then advanced again, but when within 20 yards of the objective was again attacked by very heavy fire. Rifleman Banbagtagurung, without waiting for any orders, dashed forward alone and attacked the first enemy foxhole. Throwing two grenades, he killed the two occupants and without any hesitation rushed onto the next enemy foxhole and killed the Japanese in it with his bayonet. Two further enemy foxholes were still bringing fire to bear on the section and again rifleman Banbagtagurung dashed forward alone and cleared these with bayonet and grenade. During his single-handed attacks on these four enemy foxholes, rifleman Banbagtagurung was subjected to almost continuous and point-blank light machine gun fire from a bunker on the north tip of the objective. Realizing that this light machine gun would hold up not only his own platoon which was now behind him, but also another platoon which was advancing from the west, rifleman Banbagtagurung for the fifth time went forward alone in the face of heavy enemy fire to knock out this position. He doubled forward and leapt onto the roof of the bunker from where, his hand grenades being finished, he flung two number 77 smoke grenades into the bunker slit. Two Japanese rushed out of the bunker partially blinded by the smoke. Rifleman Banbagtagurung promptly killed them both with his kukri. A remaining Japanese inside the bunker was still firing the light machine gun and holding up the advance of number 4 platoon. So Rifleman Banbagtagurung crawled inside the bunker, killed this Japanese gunner, and captured the light machine gun. Most of the objective had now been cleared by the men behind and the enemy driven off were collecting for a counter-attack beneath the north end of the objective. Rifleman Banbagtagurung ordered the nearest Bren gunner and two riflemen to take up positions in the captured bunker. The enemy counter-attack followed soon after, but under Rifleman Banbagtagurung's command the small party inside the bunker repelled it with heavy loss to the enemy. Rifleman Banbagtagurung showed outstanding bravery and a complete disregard for his own safety. His courageous clearing of five enemy positions single-handed was in itself decisive in capturing the objective and his inspiring example to the rest of the company contributed to the speedy consolidation of this success." End quote. Ban Bagtagurung was later awarded the Victoria Cross at Buckingham Palace by King George VI, and 2GR gained the battle honor Tamandu as a result of the battalion's actions. March 5th, Tamandu Day, was celebrated as a regimental day by 2GR until their amalgamation in 1994. In August 2020, to mark VJ Day 75, rifleman Ban Bagda's grandson Captain Buddy visited the Gurkha Museum and saw his grandfather's Victoria Cross for the first time. To this day he is remembered as a hero and an inspiration to many.